Hello, fellow planters. So at the request of one of my viewers, I am making a follow-up video to how I planted Venus flytraps in these little bud vases. And as you can see, I have several that I've planted and I haven't planted any new ones in a few weeks. And you can see how happy they are. Now, if you notice this one here, this is the one I initially bought from Walmart and planted that's shown in that video. And it doesn't, um, it gets a lot of sun on the south facing window of the garage. You know, I don't have enough space to put all my plants everywhere, but anyway, and the roots of this one, this one came from Walmart, extended down into the water, and this has been very happy. Now, the other ones, last week I did fill these up all the way to the ed, the top because once in a blue moon, here my nieces were pressing down on it and they knocked down the little zip tie. But anyway, once in a blue moon, I will notice one or two of these that have wilted and it's always the same ones. And I have like this one here. It did wilt, so you can see how it's recovering now, but I did remove this and then replant it in there. But by watering it all the way up to the top, you know, now it's dropped in the past week, I can uh, help rehydrate these and let them go well for another week or two. And there's another one that's flowering. This one came from Lowe's and the, um, the nursery that grows them, they trimmed the flower stalk because this was flowering, but I don't really like that idea of trimming the flower stalk to keep the plant healthy. I figure if the plant is being fed well, it shouldn't matter and it should survive. So anyway, my friend, he has some growing in sphagnum moss on a south facing window and his keep flowering and they're happy and I'm jealous. But anyway, so as you can see with all of these, they are doing well and I do plan on or need to work on some form of project where I try to research different cording to see which type of rope will make a better wick. Because as you can see, I have some different uh, copper, uh, cotton fibers. And in this one back there, you can see I even have a synthetic fiber. So it just, um, you know, it will be interesting to see if different wicks do better and not. And then I can do an assessment that way and know what's the best type of cording to use for wicks. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this follow-up video. Thanks for watching and happy planting.